Hey guys, welcome back to another video of Fox Android. So in today's video, we're gonna learn how to check the internet connection in our Android application, right? As you know that most of the application uh, today use the internet connection. So we'll be checking how to monitor the internet connection and give a warning to the user if user is disconnected from the internet. So let me first quickly show you what we're gonna get by the end of this tutorial, right? So if you can see on my mobile screen, there is this button. So it is written check internet. So if I click on this button, so there is a two stage that says connected. So if I turn off my internet, and if I now, now click on this uh, button, right? So here you can see, oops, no internet, please check your network connection. So if I click on this try again, not connected, not connected, right? Now if I turn on my internet, and if I click on this try again, so here you can see, check, right, we have redirected to the main screen. So if I now uh, disconnect from my cellular network and connect via Wi-Fi, so if I click on check internet, so it says I'm connected. So if I disconnected from Wi-Fi as well, click here okay so now i'm again redirected to this screen so this is what we'll be getting by the end of this tutorial so one more thing uh, i want to tell you guys so why i'm making this tutorial because as you know uh, from this android version 10 the network info class has been depreciated so many of you have requested me on Instagram to make a tutorial on this uh, internet thing, right? Because most of the tutorials are made using the network info class. So that class is depreciated. So in the latest applications, you have to implement the new method. So this will work with the latest version of the uh, Android, like Android version 10, right? So we'll be using the new method. So without wasting any further time, let's get started. So guys if you are new to this channel make sure to hit the subscribe button and press the bell notification icon and by the end of the video if you like the video make sure to hit that thumbs up button as well. So uh, the first thing uh, I want to tell you guys is for this method to be used your application should target minimum SDK version 24 right. So this minimum SDK version should be 24. So why your project should target SDK version, minimum SDK version 24 because the class we will be using in this tutorial was included from API 24 like for, from the SDK version 24. So that's why the minimum SDK version should be 24. If it is less than this, this method will not work, right? So make sure it targets minimum SDK version 24. The second thing we will be needing is user permission access network state so we'll be needing this permission so make sure you define this permission to your manifest file so here is this empty activity we'll make a button here right wrap content and give it a height of 60 dp i guess to work fine center in parent is true text size 20 dp and we'll write the text check internet right background tint will set black we'll give it id of check internet right so this is all we need to do in this activity now we'll quickly dive into the backend code for this activity so i'll go to the backend code so here i'll write down the whole code then i'll be explaining the code what we have done right
so guys we are done with the backend code so what we have done is we have just made a boolean variable is connected so this variable will uh, let us know if the user is connected to the internet or not right then we have made this button reference variable then we made the reference variable for the connectivity manager right so we have referred to the button and set the on click listener here then uh, when the user presses this button it will check if is connected is true that means the user is connected to the internet will be as a post saying that connected else will uh, go to the second activity so the activity with the dog and return uh, that there is no network be second network right will go to that activity so then we have made this method this is the main method that will do the work register network call back right so what we have done is so with this uh, connectivity manager reference variable we have got the context of the application and got the system service and passing the connectivity service as an argument right then uh, with this uh, reference variable we have called a registered default network callback so if we go to google chrome quickly so you can see so these are the methods right that uh, we need to use in the latest version of the android connectivity manager dot uh, where is it registered default network callback so it is having these methods so we'll be using on available and on loss so on available means called when the framework connects and has declared a new network ready for use and called when a network disconnects or otherwise no longer satisfies this request or callback right so we'll override these methods so here we have passed the network callback method as an argument to this method then we have override these methods on available so if this method is called we have set the boolean variable to true that means the user is connected otherwise we have set it to false right so we have put it this in try catch block right so just to make sure that app doesn't crash, crash if anything goes wrong so after that we have made one another method unregistered network callback so if we again go back to this documentation so here you can see network callback should be registered at most once at any time a network callback that has been unregistered can be registered again and here you can see a network callback is unregistered by calling this method so what what does it says we have registered a callback method here register default network callback method. so it says that in an application at a given point of time only one registered default one registered callback method should be there network callback method should be there so to make sure this thing uh, we have made this method right so uh, we'll go further you'll understand so we'll call this method on a register network callback in on resume right so when our application starts on resume method is called so then we have called this method that means when our application starts we have uh, registered the default network callback so when this activity is closed or other activity is opened or the app is closed on pause is called right the very first method is that is called is on pause so we have unregistered the callback so to comply with this statement that at any given point of time only one network callback should be there we have done this thing so when this this particular activity closes will unregister the callback otherwise will register the callback when activity resumes right so that was it i hope you understood this code so i have already done the front end part for the other activity don't worry about the design right you will get the source code for this thing as well so the working thing is this button so i've given the id of try again button right so we'll go here i'll quickly write down the code here we need to copy most of the code i guess so if I go here, we need to copy these two methods. Then we need to copy this as well. So 
so we'll define the variables here is connected and connectivity manager connectivity manager and button reference variable very quickly Try again is equal to five property. Try again button. Try again dot set on to this one. This one. So if is connected is true, we'll go to the main activity. Moment. So okay guys we have written the code for this thing as well we have done the same thing except that when the user presses this button so in this case if it is connected then it will go to the uh, previous activity the main activity and if the user is not connected to any network this will uh, raise the toes not connected so now I'll quickly run this app to my cell phone then we'll check if it is working fine or not right okay guys the app has been installed to my cell phone now if i click on this button you can see connected now if i turn off my cellular data i go back to this screen where it says please check your network connection right there is no network so if i connect to wi-fi okay i go back to the main screen so i guess the app is working fine right and i hope you understood the code so in case you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section or you can dm me on instagram right the instagram username will be there on your screen right now so if you like the video and understood the code make sure to hit that thumbs up button and if you're new to this channel make sure to hit that subscribe button and press the bell notification icon for receiving the notification of the upcoming videos so the link for the source code will be there in the description you can uh, if you want to download the source code you can go to that link and clone the github repo right so that was it for today's video see you in another video bye